Yeah, so Eddie Hearn and Oscar De La Hoya are basically beefing on Twitter. And um, I'm going to read it out to you so you get the whole gist of what's going on. So Oscar De La Hoya tweeted that top rank will not work with you. PBC thinks you are a joke and we all know how I feel about you. He said this to Eddie Hearn. Now Eddie Hearn replies and says, do you remember when you flew into New York begging to sign Balanga? Watch him live on The Zone boxing tonight yeah so um if for those who don't know edgar balanga is um a fighter who got 50 knockouts but ever since then he's been on the down the downward spiral and um obviously eddie had managed to get him signed and oscar de la hoya could not do that so um now they're beefing you know going back and forth and you know eddie Hearn obviously you know this guy is a promoter. Two of these guys are promoters. Yes, they are both promoters. And um, I'm just going to say this here. We live in a time, we live in an era where promoters are more popular than actual fighters. That's my main problem with this. This, this these two beefing on Twitter. My main problem is, why does Eddie Hearn have so many followers on Twitter? Why is he not like, why, I don't understand why the promoters are so popular than the fighters. I don't understand why promoters are always in the headlines of, like, I'm trying to look for boxing articles and I see Eddie Hearn's face and I'm like, what the heck, you're not even fighting, bro. Why are you getting more, why is Eddie Hearn getting talked about more than actual fighters? D bro, there are fighters literally dying in the ring. And you don't even hear about it. You know, you hear about Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn said that the Joshua fight will happen. Eddie Hearn always, always, always talking rubbish. Eddie Hearn always saying something, bro. Eddie Hearn saying nothing but doing nothing. Listen, I'm, I'm not going to just go at Eddie Hearn. I'm talking about all promoters. And this is why I like Al Heyman. Because with Al Heyman, Al, Al Heyman is old school. You know, Al Heyman is behind closed doors. You know, Al Heyman don't care about the cameras. He don't care about all of that because all of that don't matter. I don't know why these these new promoters want to get in there, get their face and get them. Like, I don't understand all that. Like, promoters need to sit down somewhere, sit down there, you know, eat, drink your coffee, yeah? Drink your coffee and make the fights you want to see. You don't have to bring, bring your big head in, you know? All you got to do, the only, the only, like, coverage, the only, like, exposure promoters should get is when they're promoting a fight. That's the only time you'll see, you should see a promoter. But you now you're seeing, like, at one point, Eddie Hearn got too big. I'm, like, thinking, wait, hold on a second now. Like, are we seriously, like, talking about Eddie Hearn, like, as if he's a boxer? Like, that's my main problem. Like, I'm seeing, I'm, I'm like, bro, this guy don't even punch. This guy never threw a punch in his life. This guy's never, this, this guy, like, this is the reality, the reality is, yeah, like, people are more interested in what Eddie Hearn's doing than what, what Belanga is doing. Let's be honest. Like, like I think people would rather pay Eddie Hearn to see Eddie Hearn versus um flipping Simon Jordan. Let's be honest. People would rather see that about Ed Edgar Belanga versus Quingley. Like, let's be honest, man. Ed like, Edgar, Edgar Belanga, that fight was only made for him to look good. And he couldn't even knock the guy out. So, and Demetrius Andre, who people say, uh, you know, he doesn't really have punching power, knocked him out in two rounds. So what's going on here? Like Edgar Balango, yeah? You are literally the Puerto Rican Jamie Mongia. And eventually when you step up in competition, you will get exposed. You got knocked down by Ericsson Lubin. So when you actually yeah, uh, when you actually face a real fighter, a real boxer who's not coming to lay down, who's not coming to who actually believes they can beat you, you're in trouble. You and Jamie Mongia are literally being built up as Listen, I want a payday. I'm I'm cashing in. That like, you guys are literally checks. Yes, you're literally walking checks, and eventually you guys are just gonna cash in when the time is right. And, and I don't know another thing I want to get onto. Why is everybody f chasing Canelo? Listen, Canelo was, is gonna retire soon. After Canelo, I don't know what you man are gonna do. You man are basing your whole life. You man are waking up in the morning for Canelo. Canelo got you guys doing laps around the pitch, bro. He got you doing mouths. Like as if you man, you man are like in your, you man are 19, you man are 20, 25, talking about fighting Canelo, bro. Focus on the man them in your division. Focus like 